Placencia. Placencia Tobacco. They have made a new cigar for Romeo y Julieta. This is the Envy the Amulet. The Romeo y Julieta MV Amulet. Now let me see. Mm. Romeo y Julieta MV Amulet 6x55. It's called the Toro Extra. Limited edition cigar. How limited, Lee Mac? How limited is this cigar? Well, they only making a hundred thousand of them, <laughs> but it's a limited edition. After a hundred thousand are gone, there will be no more. Boxes of eleven. They come in boxes of eleven, and the MSRP is seventeen dollars and fifty cents. It's made entirely of Nicaraguan tobacco from the Placencia Farms. Now, Raphael, no doubt, said uh, had some kind of aging process, either longer or different, which would bring out the amazing notes from the Nicaraguan tobacco. This was originally scheduled to ship in December. Uh, it's now February. I think they came out in February. So, anyway, here we go. The Romeo y Julieta Envy Amulets. Y'all hang on. We'll be back. Smoking family is actually evening, but I'm gonna say good afternoon because that's what I always say. Because I am Lee Mac 912, that's me, Lee Mac 912, and I am out here to review a cigar. Now, some people are new around here and they'll say, Who is this Lee Mac 912 guy? Who is this Lee Mac 912 guy? Why does he keep repeating himself and saying everything he says twice? Why? Just a man in his garage smoking a cigar and bringing y'all along with him and telling you what he thinks about it. A couple of people think that I'm all right. A couple of people think that my palate is okay. A couple of people think that my palate is broken. But one thing that most of the folks think that stay here, because some of y'all don't stay, is that, you know what, Lee Mac 912 is a mellow kind of fellow. He's all right. And, uh, you know, we like hanging out with him. So. Welcome if you are new. If you are not new, welcome back. If you are new, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and come back again. We have a premiere every Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Been here for over eight years now, and we will continue to do what it is that we do. Fat cigar, pretty fat cigar. Uh-oh, uh down goes Frazier. Almost lost it. Yeah, it's a pretty fat cigar. Um, what did they say it was? A 55? 6 by 55. So, yeah, it's a pretty fat cigar. Toro Extra. Yeah, that's about right. 6 by 55. So, kind of musty on the wrapper smell. Musty wrapper flavor. I've known a couple of musty rappers in my day. I ain't gonna name no names. <laughs> yeah, you can rap, but can you bathe? <laughs> Smells good. Smells like tobacco. A little bit of sweetness and definitely that mustiness. So, uh, smells pretty good. Uh, you know, I'm thinking about going V-cut today. V-cut is the way. Shout out to, oh, never mind, I can't do that no more. I'm sorry. I was going to say shout out to somebody. I can't shout y'all out no more. I've been banned from shouting people out. We're going to go V-cut. This is a pretty big cigar. I don't know. I just felt like the V-cut might do it some justice. Nice draw. Mm. 
cold draw is, I'm gonna say some sort of medicinal. Now, I don't know what kind of medicinal. It's, a, it's got a very nice draw. It's very smooth, very easy, not too tight, not too loose. Shout out to Brother Dexter. Brother Dexter, you know how we do, Brother Dexter. We want to dig you high. Yeah, shout out to Sly Stone. I'm, I'm sorry. You know, I'm just so used to doing all these shout outs, and I've been banned from doing shout outs, but I got to say shout out to Brother Dexter now. What's up, Brother Harry? <laughs> shout out to my brother, Ock. I'm sorry. I just got to do it. I called me the other day. He said, Mac Man, I ain't know that they was having YouTube beef out. He, what did he say? How he said that? I ain't know they was having beef out here in the YouTube streets among cigar reviewers. I said, I ain't know either. <laughs> Shout out to you, brother. Thing bug down. Yay! I, I, I said, oh, man, I, hey, you know, I stay over here. I try to mind my business. Try to keep my train in the center of the damn road, and I struggle with that. So, you know, it's all good. All right. Another deck style. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Get my focus together. Here we go. Let's go, y'all. For a second, I almost forgot that this was a $17 cigar. I sure enough did. And as I was like this, I said, oh, yeah, this is a $17 cigar. Ooh, child, you better be worth $17. That's all I got to tell you. Hey, Raphael, you's a cool dude, man. I met you out in Vegas. You're a very nice guy. Love you, man. But I still sure hope that we are on the right track with this cigar. <laughs> Ooh, I am home if you care. That sounds like a good uh, a title for a song or like a country song. I'm home if you care. If you care, I'm home. <laughs> Now, original, original, original light up. Feels kind of light. Feels kind of light. Feels like uh, light on flavor. Feels a little light on the strength. Feels light. That's the best word that I can give it is light. All right, Rabbit there. I know you're doing your thing. I only need you to stop. Yeah, it feels kind of light. But we'll see. We'll see if it uh, if it picks up anything or not. Starting to pick up a little bit of pepper, just a teench, a teensy teench of pepper. Do 
Joe has a very nice draw. Pepper is picking up in the back of my head. Back of my throat. You know, some cigars you can light up. And almost from the first light up, you go, damn, that's good. I sure hope it lasts, because it's good. There are other cigars you light up and you go, eh. But by the time you get down to the end, you're like, man, this thing really kicked up and it's doing really good and tastes great. I don't know where this one's going. Retro hell. Nutty, pepper, black pepper. The finish on this cigar is very dry as well. Like my mouth is, like I got a cotton mouth. All right, family, we're going to sit on back, let this thing unfold a little bit, and uh, I'll come back and let you know how it's doing. All right, family, I am still smoking. Hold on, let me get some of this glare out of my eyes here. I am still smoking this Romeo y Julieta Envy Amulet. She's burning well. But I got one word to describe this cigar family. Average, average. The flavor is very light on it. It's got a little bit of mineral finish on it. Smooth retro hail because the flavor is so light. The strength feels like it's light. Um, it's 55 ring gauge. 55 ring gauge, the bigger ring gauge cigars tend to burn better, but I will tell you this, for me, I tend to feel like I gotta go back to my nephew Ron Reel's quote. I need more killer and less filler. I feel like too much filler in this one. Too much average filler to try to bump it up to that size. $17 cigar, I'm gonna put this up against my brother Ox Padron. No, sir, no, sir. Padron walks all up and down this one all day long. It just is not, to me, a $17 cigar. I'm sorry, it's just not. Does it burn well? Does it smoke well? It does. It's a strength, I'm going to say, mild side of medium on the strength. Not that that's bad, but if the flavor was up with a lower strength cigar, then you would say, okay, I'm getting a nice, smooth, creamy cigar, and that flavor is, is banging, but the strength is light. So, we're gonna pair it up, family. Uh, kind of a tough one to figure out a pairing for because I don't know, I was thinking about like some Penelope bourbon Barrel strength, but I feel like that's going to really wash out the cigar. My sister sent me some uh, rum from the Dominican Republic. Maybe that's what we'll have tonight. I got to remember that when I go back there. Yeah, it feels like anything that's like a high proof alcohol is really gonna just wash everything away. But it might just add to it, who knows? Salute. You know, I was talking to, uh, I was talking to somebody the other day who was having an issue with cigars and figuring out what they like and this club and that club and the next thing. But you know, so then, uh, With Tanya and I were having a conversation afterwards. And we both kind of agreed that, you know what? If you smoke cigars and you like cigars and you love cigars, most cigars are gonna be better than average to you. 
Some of, a few will be excellent and they'll be exceptional. A few will be really bad, but most of them are gonna be a little bit better than that middle ground. Not a whole lot of really terrible cigars out here these days. A lot of them are very good. So when you find somebody that's smoking cigars and everything they smoke they don't like, it almost makes you wonder, do you like cigars? My brother Mark over in Spain loves cigars. He loves cigars so much that just about every cigar you can give to him that he will smoke, he will smoke it and just love it. Because that's how much he likes the experience, that's how much he loves cigars. It just like, for him, there just ain't really too many bad cigars. I think there's some folks that are out here that want to be at the cool kids table, so they say, I want to smoke cigars. If it ain't for you, it ain't for you. If it ain't for you, just leave it alone. Let somebody else do it. Okay, it looks cool, and maybe you want to be at the cool kids table, but if this ain't your thing, don't let it be your thing. I don't know, that's just my opinion, but you know. All right, I'm gonna sit on back, I'm gonna sip on and try to see who stole this damn $17 million. I need to call a bruh man to find out if he know where some of that money is at. <laughs> we'll be back. All right, all right, family, Lee Mac 912. We are still smoking the Romeo and Julieta Envy. Uh, strength is picked up, medium. I can't say that the, the flavor's picked up a little bit. It's still very drying on the palate. If this cigar didn't have a band on it and you gave it to me to smoke and you said, how much would this cigar sell for? I would probably tell you it's a Toro, it's a fat Toro. I'd say eight to ten dollars. I would say eight to ten dollars. And I might not want to pay ten dollars for it based on the flavors that I'm getting and the experience that I'm having. So at twice that price, mm -mm, it ain't gonna be good. Not for me, anyway. Some people might like the cigar. So I tell you with all these cigar reviews, right, it's just an opinion. It's one man's opinion, one slice in time of what one person thought about the cigar that day they were smoking it. Doesn't mean that it is the end all, the be all. Now, if I was on a desert island and a box of these fell down, this is the only thing I would have to smoke, I would treasure them. And they would taste, they would taste fantastic because I love cigars. I like smoking cigars. I like the experience. I like to sit back, have my little glass, have my, my cigar here and just chill and smoke and watch the smoke and listen to your thoughts. But, you know, these days, I know the prices of everything is going up and people are making more money, but things cost you more. So, therefore, your luxury items have to be definitely worth the price that you pay. If you're going to go out and pay a $17 for a cigar, you're going to say, hey, listen, this may be a special occasion cigar. I can't smoke these every day. And you're not supposed to for the average person. But I'll tell you, I have smoked cigars that are way better than this that have cost way less than this. Get an example. This cigar that's in my ashtray, the only reason why it's this long is because I was busy and I had to put it down. That cigar cost me $5. I put that $5 cigar up against this cigar every day, any day, and dare you to tell me that I was wrong. But it's my opinion, anyway. All right, family, let me give you my numbers on this. This cigar for me was a swing and a miss, $17. I, I, can't, I can't suggest it. For the price, I'm gonna give it a two and a half. Flavor is a three. Construction is a five. Overall smoking experience, 2.75 for a two, not a two, a 3.2 on the Lee Mac 912 scale. Today was another great day, family. I tell you all the time, when you wake up in the morning, you gotta say to yourself, today is another great day. Why? because your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between the truth and a lie, so you might as well tell it the good lie if you have to. Will you face problems in life? You will face problems in life. I have faced problems every single day of my life, and sometimes you have to fix those problems, and sometimes you don't know how you're gonna fix those problems, but when you told your subconscious mind it's gonna be a good day, it's gonna be a great day, 
that's all that it knows. I have problems, family, and sometimes you just have to just hold on until your, 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 your change comes, you know. Uh, I had a issue. I got to replace the furnace in my house. It shouldn't have to be replaced. It has to be replaced. The man came and told me $15,000. I said, that's going to be a negative ghost rider. We're not going to pay you $15,000 because I don't have $15,000. So I got on the horn. I called bro man down to Florida. He called up his man up here in Delaware. And uh, he said, hey, Mac, I just so happen to have a few furnaces in the back of my truck. I could hook you up, brother. So for less than two thousand dollars, bruh man's man's is gonna come up here and do what need to be done, family. Sometimes you gotta do things that's not necessarily optimal. There are there is a saying that says, "Don't let perfect get in the way of good enough." Sometimes you just gotta deal with good enough, and it doesn't have to be perfect. So hey, look. It is what it is. I'm gonna get done what needs to be done. It's not gonna hurt my pocket too much. And uh, you know, it's all good. And we are gonna do what we have to do and we are gonna keep on moving family. Same thing goes on with my truck. I did my Googles, I did a little YouTube search, I did some forum searches and I figured out what the problem was. And I went around there and told the mechanic what it was and I fixed it. So we are ready to go. We are ready to get back on the road and do some trucking baby. So anyway, do what you gotta do, family. Stay above board if you can. Sometimes you gotta muddle in the gray. Sometimes you gotta go over there and do some things that ain't quite right until you can do something that is a little bit better. It is what it is, family. So anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna see y'all next time. Peace.